What is going on, Castle Clash community? Terry Z24 back, and yes, sharing some awesome Mesa 4 action. As you can see from the title, showing that my guild top out house is greater than the Mesa 4. But uh, this video here is going to consist of, I believe, four of our Mesa 4 runs, and this is actually the first time our guild has ever ran Mesa 4. Um, the first time I personally ran Mesa 4 was with Hirsch, and we did the Mesa 4 speed racing video. So then I came back to my guild, and I'm like, God, we could we could beat Mesa 4. You know, we never did it. And I, mean, I know we, I know a lot of our members did Mesa 4. So I told them, you know, I just check who's going to which side. That's what we did. much like chaos going on, it's hard to get everything, and at the beginning there's too much explosions and everything else going on, but uh, you kind of get the gist of what's going on with everything again, and then there's the first ball. Yeah, I did make some four now, it's like after, we, after I did that with Hirsch and them, and you know, I was like, oh heck, I didn't realize, you know. You get a couple of strong players, you can actually do this as long as you know, make having two more panic as well. Look at that airy, uh. <laughs> look at that airy. You gotta love these sometimes when, uh. Got a more panic or Yeah, sometimes when heroes split off like that. And though there ain't no druid there, they will die. But uh, that, you gotta love sometimes when the heroes stay way, like they, sometimes they just don't even move. I mean, look how far that pumpkin dude is away, and he's crossing like crazy. And that air is back even farther, and you just see that cross is coming in. It looks like he's kind of throwing up or something, but nonetheless, I feel like that's pretty cool. Yeah, we got Mage and Ares hitting the other bosses over there, taking their health down, and I'm sure it's hitting the 35 k per hit with all them buffs going from Duke and stuff, so... That all adds up to me, because you got all this health to get down quick on the ball. There's that Ares again over there. I mean, his range. Look at that Druid down there at the bottom. But uh, yeah, Ares' range is so ridiculous to begin with. So that pretty much sums up why he's back there for it. But look at that Druid. He's like, you know, what? I just don't. I don't think like I'm moving, guys. I'm just gonna stay down here and just hit this ball and stay down here. It kind of looks like he has four shot or something. That ball's still alive. In there. It feels like Durrett's kind of shooting a half court basketball shot. Oh, yuck. Oh, ugly chest. What we're striving to get is to get a purple chest. Um, I believe, and there we are, all, everyone all excited. That was our first time we ever did Mesa 4, and we beat it. So everyone is very excited about that. So, of course, we're going to go back in here and do it again. I saw that my Montanica split last time, so I'm gonna try to figure that out to keep the heroes from splitting. Put that revive druid up front. It'll last forever. stronger players and you're not in the same guild. I mean, Mesa 4 isn't flooded with the public matches yet. You can go in there and get a couple of your friends from other guilds and do like what we did and just 
gather together. But this here is actually a guild. Um, this is all of us are in the same guild, so we have to worry about that here. But I mean, yes, if you have friends in other guilds, you can just go do the public match because sometimes you got a few people out there just sitting there waiting for someone to come in. But usually it's not too bad trying to get a public war match. I think that'd be something cool if they can change that. Maybe you can invite your friends with into a nature match. That would be super cool. All the targeting in my most friends are up there. percent health is better than that because I mean the damage is capped out at 35k anyway so it doesn't matter so I don't really need to do extra damage um, still slowly getting more damage to up to 89 still keeping all my guards so yeah here's all these props and you gotta love the Dracula um, props there's the bats coming out it's pretty cool and over there is my uh, mage and Malkanica, but there's no heal. So you can see how long Malkanica lasts over there. It's just, uh, this frost keep up in the ball. And he lasts a long time. Uh, and he does have a level 80 inscription as well, so that does help, and he has a huge, huge HP anyway. Yeah, in these runs here, we got um, myself, Terry G24. I got two of my vice leaders, uh, G12 and James 2. And probably uh, one of my original members as well is uh, G4. G4. These guys here, we've all been pretty much in my guild tap out house since day one. Uh, maybe the first week the guild came out. I went and did some uh, old school chat. <laughs> Those were the days. Everyone loved the pervert from the world chat. <laughs> but uh, that's how I did get a lot of good members from there. Uh, lucky here at the chat. Oh, lushy, lucky bum you. And more yuck chest for the rest of us. <laughs> and yes, we did destroy Mansion Four again. And we're gonna—I think we all made a pact that we're gonna keep going on Mansion Four until all of us get a purple chest. So we may be going on this a while. But yeah, guys, let me know if you guys like seeing some Mesa Four action because um, I'm gonna try to record these every I have some more out um, this is my first video on Mesa 4 but I have some other videos on Mesa 4 from last night as well this is from a couple days ago see so yeah, I have more footage on Mesa 4 I'm probably gonna put that out and then I, I'm gonna probably give it two or three days put out another video on Mesa 4 Yeah, but I'll probably put out another video on Mesa 4. I don't see, I mean, I think I've, there is some Mesa 4 footage out there, but I'm going to start some more out there. It's kind of cool. It's new for me, at least. I really haven't done Mesa 4 or too much of the Mesa on any of my videos, so I'm going to keep putting these out for a little bit. I don't really care about the game anymore. I just don't need it. You know, I'm, I'm 
wasting it every day. Um, I'm just loving when you guys are using rolls and wasting it and then just flying for the and stuff. Occasionally getting the crystal oozes, the good ones, the very charred ones, which are pretty nice, the blue ones. Them pumpkin dudes are so far away. And there's a snowzilla down there, there's a druid down at the bottom. That one. 
seconds we got that one down and James again with the lucky chest oh my god now congrats to them but I'm getting all crap chest alright well looks like we'll be going a while guys on to Mesa 4 yeah I mean basically yeah Mesa 4 if you got a couple strong heroes and I mean, a couple strong players Basically, we got three um, free-to-play players and uh, James. I mean, uh, we got three paid players. Me, Lush, and uh, Deep. We all have, you know, um, Minotaur accounts. We are not using Minotaur, but James is a free-to-play player. He don't. He hasn't spent any money on games. He only got money from uh, guild competitions and stuff throughout the past. But he's never spent any of his own personal money. And actually, uh, we beat Mesa 4 with one of my Smurf accounts. <laughs> and all my Smurfs are free to play. I've never spent any money on my Smurfs. And I have a, a Smurf account. And I believe I use uh, Pumpkin Duke, Snowzilla, Amortep, Druid. And it might have been sucky this there, actually. Just to reduce the health. And we won. Uh, I didn't have that on tape though, but maybe I'll record that with using a, one of my Smurf accounts 40k mic. Um, beat made before, and we had two um, two free to play players. So it would be kind of cool if we could get four free to play accounts. And look at that donation from James. Very nice. But that would be pretty cool if we could get four free to play accounts to beat Mesa 4. Maybe I'll try to get that organized up. I know I have two decent dude accounts. I know James' account is very strong. Look at this guy. James' account there is all like 4,200, like 4,103 shards away from the 100k shard donation. That is just amazing. And we will be um, looking to max out the guild here soon. If there's any, you know, good players out there, strong accounts that want to help us in Torch, um, also want to help out in the Mesa runs in the guild, um, we have we pretty much run, always run Mesa 2 and 3. Uh, we just started doing 4, but there's a lot of members that hop on different times throughout the days because we got members all over. We got members in Malaysia, New Zealand, all over the U.S. So um, we do boss at 2100 server time, and there's deep with a nice donation as well. But yeah, guys, uh, I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video, and I think uh, this is a pretty good little video of Mesa Um if you Guys, if you have any suggestions on future videos, please comment below. Chris, and he just got Reaper and he's the land of course, so hopefully he'll get that. Alright guys, thank you, have a good day. Terry Z24 out.